Hey guys, what's up? So this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you guys are trying to get into software development, iOS development, software QA, and other stuff, check out the link in the description tab below. They are offering courses. Um, you can actually live on campus over there. They are hooked up with employers around the country, um, around the, the world really, and they're going to help you try to find your first job in this industry. So uh, make sure you give them a look, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp, and the link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I have a good comment and uh, I love the comments, so make sure you guys keep them coming. But this one comment, he's like, on a video I was talking about why web development is so hard. Um, this dude was like, he's like, so why do you have a coding boot camp sponsoring you if, um, if you say that web development is hard? He's like, I feel like it goes against everything you've said for something that should take you at least you know six to 12 months. Like, how are you really gonna learn it in three months? And like, how are you gonna promote that? Um, so I want to address that in this video here. So number one, I never went to a coding boot camp. Uh, Dev Mountain sponsors this channel. Uh, most of my content, not all of it, but they've been sponsoring my stuff for several years. Uh, they are a very reputable boot camp. And um, in addition to that, I've also worked with a couple guys that used to be coding boot camp instructors. In fact, I think I've worked with three separate coding boot camp instructors that I've uh, worked with in a professional development environment. And they pretty much all say the same thing, and that is that like the ones that succeeded at the boot camps are the ones that came in with an interest in coding before they got there, right? And then they take it to a, the next level once once they get there. Um, when I was first starting out, like there were times that I was working like fifteen to like, hell, I would say like fifteen hour days minimum. Like I, I may have done more than fifteen hours to be honest. Um, but like when I was building some of my uh, initial websites and. Um, you know, stumped on certain problems and things that I was trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, I, I definitely challenged myself to the point I was working a crazy amount of hours. So even with all that said, it took me three years to become a professional developer. So, so I think what is interesting about like where I came from and then what, what these coding boot camps are trying to do is that coding boot camps are not necessarily the same thing as, as college and they're not they're really not like college at all they're they're, they're somewhat expensive um, but they're very fine-tuned into the, the changing technologies that are out right now so they're gonna be focused on things like node and JavaScript and um, a lot of the newer technologies that you know even the senior developers out there you know may not have had enough time to get on board with um, and then you know as the code is changing it seems like it's getting a little bit easier to write javascript is much easier to write than it was 10 years ago um you know we we had things like jquery because the dom and dom manipulation across browsers was so bad with the javascript language um, and the differences across browsers and different versions of browsers were just like you know astronomical so that's why we had to create create things like uh you know jquery to make our lives a, a little bit easier um, and once jQuery came along in what, like 2009, 2010, something like that, I remember I, I jumped on board with that and I was just like, the big question at the time was like, do you need to learn JavaScript or should you, should you just learn jQuery? Um, and the argument back then was that you just, you, you should just use uh, uh, jQuery. Um, so like nine times out of 10 people were like, no, you don't need to know raw JavaScript anymore. jQuery does everything you need to do. Um, and you fast forward to today and everybody's like, no, the DOM is much better, much more capable. We don't need jQuery. It's frowned upon. It's much too big to be bringing in, um, and you know it's not completely gone. But you know, it, like basically, things are a little bit easier because the browsers are much more up to date, making coding a little bit easier. But it's not just that. It's also the fact that like when I was just getting started, Stack Overflow was was just getting started. So um, you didn't have like these humongous amount of resources and these questions that have that had been answered. You know, there were there was probably hundreds of thousands, but not. You know, at this point, they probably have tens of millions, I would imagine, or somewhere close to that. But, um, you know, so like with these changing times, I think programming has become a little bit easier. It's become a little bit more beginner friendly. I'm curious to see what that's going to end up being um, in the long term, because here's the thing. If you guys want to know the, the answer to the question of this video, can you be a coder in three months? Can you be a web developer? Fuck no. Like, you're not going to be any good. Like, you're going to be terrible. Like, from a production level corporate gig type of environment, like you're gonna be terrible. Even after three months, 12 hour days, you're not gonna know nothing. Um, there's just too much to know. When you talk about web development, what are you even talking about? You're talking about JavaScript, you're talking about server side language, you're talking about functional programming from uh, procedurally typed to object oriented. I mean, what, 
there's no way you can learn all those fundamentals and those concepts within three months. You're going to be learning lambda calculus as well and linear algebra and about matrices and, um, and things like that. Now, clearly you're not because um, they're not teaching you everything that I think most real developers know and they end up knowing after they've been doing this for a few years. Um, but that's not to discourage you from like attending a boot camp. See, the boot camps are great because they have this, like I said, this, this, this very like in-depth course. And the course is very focused on like some of the latest development technologies that web, that companies out there need. Like they need developers that can write this stuff. They need developers that can write React. Uh, and for the most part, you can train somebody how to write React in probably three to six months, probably. Um, so, and I would say the same thing with like maybe JavaScript, some of the fun, like basic fundamentals of JavaScript and like maybe trying to get some node, you know, some node stuff in there. And, um, but just because you know how to spin up a Hello World Node.js application, even if you could do it from, from scratch and maybe even edit some of the code or maybe use Express.js or whatever, and you could just set it all up from uh, memory, you're still no good. Like you're, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean you're a developer. Like you just assembled a bunch of already working code. You know what I mean? Like so um, in many cases as senior developers, that's what we end up having to do. But it does take a look. I think sometimes I do minimize um, – the complexities when I do say that like we, we assemble code because it's it's much more than that when you're talking about firewalls and different microservices and third party services and um, you know different data contracts whether it's uh, JSON or uh, you know XML or like you know there's just are you using SOAP services I mean who knows like I mean there's just all those things like you're just not gonna know in a three month period of time. Um, I would argue you won't know it after three years probably self teaching. Um, and then certainly from like a, a coding perspective in college, they're not teaching you what you need to know in order to get your foot in the door. But for most people that can complete a rigorous four-year degree program, especially in computer science or something similar to that, those people are going to be able to succeed at programming because programming, again, is much easier than it was in the 1970s. It's much easier than it was 10 years ago. Um, and I'm wondering what that's going to do to the salaries eventually because what, what's going to end up happening, I think, is that you're going to have a massive amount of people entering, entering the labor force. And we're going to be working on these like pre-built libraries that we already do, um, where it used to be jQuery and things like that. Now it's all about like angular view and react and everything else that comes after it. Um, but it's all this, like, you know, this pre-built code and the pre-built code is, is written by some of the best developers in the world. Like some of the, you know, some of the guys behind react, uh, real goofy looking dude, um, can't think of his name, but, uh, you know, th that dude's like certifiable genius um, and, and one of the major contributors to, to React. I mean, uh, I'll just never be as good of a coder as that guy. Like, and I'm, I'm totally cool with, with admitting that and being cool with that. Um, uh, I'm totally cool with being cool with that. Anyway, but uh, that guy is, is a, is a, is a freaking genius. And, um, and ultimately, we're writing a bunch of code, uh, whether it's ES6 or whatever, but we're writing you know, probably you know, fairly decent amounts of uh, ES6, which, again, that's much easier to write these days than older JavaScript. And then we're interfacing to this, you know, these complex DOM libraries like React, and um, and just a lot of the complexities and the actual way that we go about writing the code and all this stuff has already been established and, and designed and developed for us by a bunch of really smart people who are over at Facebook, right? Um, it's not just them. I mean, there's there's Google and there's all, all these other companies and companies that you know these companies end up buying up, um, but. I guess my point is that like the best developers in the world are going to continue to write some of the best libraries in the world. Um, there's always going to be a demand for those types of people, and they're always going to be some of the highest paid people. Um, they're going to be up there with doctors, lawyers. Now, I don't see that changing for the rest of our li lifetimes, probably for 30 years or more. Um, I mean, hopefully well, we all live more than 30 years. But I, I plan to, you know, a little roughly if we're working another 30, 40 years, I would think that um, there's always going to be that opportunity if you can separate yourself from, from the masses. Um, so with the three month thing, can you separate yourself from the masses? There are certainly people that have gotten lucky in this industry that they've spent three months in a boot camp or they spent three months self learning or something like that. And then they got a job and then they were able to learn probably most of what, I mean, probably in the same period of three months, they probably learned twice as much as that in the next three months being on the job, I would bet. Um, I mean, it's a definite fact in computer science and pretty much everything else, you're going to learn the most of, of what you know about your job on the job. You're not going to learn it from books and like, you know, studying um, in a university or something like that. Um, you're going to learn it through being on the job. And like 
once you get your foot in the door, that's one of the biggest benefits of a boot camp as well is that they have connections with people. And, and if you are serious about being a developer and you're putting in those hours and you do a good job in the coding boot camp, and hopefully you had interest before you even joined, um, and then certainly followed up that interest afterwards, it's going to take massive amounts of time. But like you're probably th- in a rigorous course of study, right? Like you're lo- looking at like three, uh, so we're roughly 16 week courses or something like that where, where they're doing 12 hour days, probably five days a week or more, or maybe six days a week or something. Um, so you're, you're talking about an intense amount of hours that, the, that they're doing in three months. And, and that's just, it's not enough, but um, there used to be this rule, like if you spend 10,000 hours trying to master a craft of something that's, that's you know complicated, like uh, it, something like programming, some sort of like advanced craft, um, they say you know roughly if you spend 10,000 hours that you should be uh, pretty proficient with it. You know, like you're not, you may not be an expert, but you should be pretty proficient. But if we cal- calculate out um, how long is it going to take you to do 10,000 hours, some people say that that's not accurate, but that's actually probably not enough um, for any real developer, like a real senior developer that's been around the block for a long time, like a C sharp Java Java developer or something like that, um, that is writing multi tier architecture for big companies and dealing with millions of, of client side views and things like that. Um, yeah, that, I mean you're talking about hundreds of thousands of hours probably like, or a hundred thousand hours I, I, I mean it's I don't I don't even know I just know that like I mean Bill Gates once said once said that like um, I think he said it takes roughly 10 years um, to be like um, truly you know reaching the peak of what you can do uh, in programming I think that's what he was saying something along those lines I'm probably quoting it out of context uh, or maybe completely inaccurate but uh it was something along those lines and it was definitely 10 years that he said and uh I'm not sure I agree with that. Like, I think we can all get jobs, like, even in three months if you work really, really hard and you're really smart, uh, and you probably get lucky. But uh, for the most part, you're not going to be a very good developer after three months. And um, even if you're a really good React guy, there's no way you could possibly know um, a fraction of the amount of anybody that's been in the industry for a couple of years, probably. And um, I don't know. So, like, but it shouldn't discourage anybody. Like, uh, it, it, the more time you put into it, the faster you're going to be able to do it. For three years, I worked every day um, on it. I was solving business problems. Within the first six months of, of that, those, that, those three years, I was um, I was actually making money with the code that I was writing. I was actually I did a couple jobs for uh, different companies. I actually got robbed on this one deal. Uh, not robbed, like you know, like physically robbed, but like. Uh, these people didn't, this company in D.C. didn't end up paying me, but um, I was really young, but I, like, I had only been developing for like six months or something like that, and I did a website for them. And yeah, so you could be, you could be doing stuff like that, but like I was nowhere near being any sort of like real developer that a company would want to pay me uh, to join their team. And um, I mean, most major, mo- most major companies and pretty much all IT companies wouldn't want anything to do with somebody like that, I don't think. Uh, but that's where we all start, and then the more you work on it, the harder you, you work at it, the, the faster you'll be able to get there. The smarter you are, the faster you'll be able to get there. Uh, the less shit you have going on in your life, probably, uh, the, the, the faster you, you'll get there. Uh, the better you, you are at scheduling, you know, small things like that. You know, that doesn't have anything to do with, like, intelligence, like raw intelligence, but, um, you know, having a good schedule, like a coding schedule to make sure that you're, you're spending a proper amount of time every day uh, and spending your time wisely is... I think really helpful advice for people that are trying to get there quickly because um, it, it just there's just a lot of things that go into how quickly we can learn something as complex as being a, a web programmer uh, or a programmer in general but certainly you cannot be a web developer after three months I mean what are you even talking about like I mean who I know that there's youtubers that are that are saying that shit but like I mean what are you talking about like that, that I mean, it, it gives the entire YouTube IT crowd, like, I think a bad name when people um, do shit like that. And unfortunately, um, YouTube kind of, like, uh, YouTube promotes it and rewards that kind of crap, um, which which sucks. And I, I have to kind of play by that game as well, um, it, it, as long as you want to, you know, compete, yeah, right? I mean, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's really all I got tonight, so, uh, peace.